My colleagues, Sophie and I, we're going to teach you how to log on to Moodle for Oldham Lifelong Learning. And as I've said many times to Sophie, some of these things are not rocket science. No. So I'm going to make a video now of Sophie trying to get on to Oldham Lifelong Learning's Moodle page. Okay, Sophie, would you mind uh, going to Google now, please? Yes. Tap on Google. That's excellent. Now, into Google, I want you to type in Oldham Council. Oldham. Um. Council. And then another space after council and put in Moodle, like a cow. Moo. M O O D L E. Good. And now you should click on this one that says, let me go a bit closer, move your finger, Moodle dot oldham l dot org so tap that one for me please sophie and this is what comes up you get oldham council lifelong learning service now sophie in the top right hand corner it says log in could you tap that for me yes perfect now in the username if you know your username, it's usually your first name, then a dot, and your second name. So type in Sophie.Bailey. No spaces, but make sure there's a dot. And you can see Sophie has put in her username correctly. You might not be able to see. There we are. It's in focus now. Sophie.Bailey. Okay. Now, Sophie's forgotten her password, haven't you? Yes. Yes. So, move up a little bit if you don't remember your password. That's good. And just under login, it says forgotten your username and password. Click on that for me. Perfect. And now, move up the screen to search by email. And tap on that box for me. Excellent. So, Put the email address in here that um, you want to use on Moodle. And this is important because if you do that, it means that if it doesn't work, we will know that we've got your wrong email address and we can correct it. So it's not a problem, but please put in there the email address you would like your Moodle to work with and the one you want lifelong learning to know. Uh, so now, Sophie, would you come out of Moodle completely and go, go back to and close that down? Close Google down for a minute. Yes. That's good. And then we can start afresh. Now, what I'd like you to do is go to my emails. Okay. Um, so you should find an email that says Oldham Lifelong Learning Password Reset Request from Simon France via Oldham LLS. If you don't get that email, go away, relax, do something else, because there's nothing you can do. There's no point in trying to get onto Moodle until you've had this email, okay? But if you can get to it, open that email. See in this email, I have received this password reset. It tells me here that my username is david.bailey, so that's the username. When you get this, look at it carefully, it's usually first name dot second name. Some people, if you've got two names on the system, it doesn't quite work and you have to look very carefully. Now, Sophie, would you mind clicking on the link, please, in the email? That's right. Can you see it? Excellent. And you'll see here, it tells me my username straight away. Um, is up there. Username david.bailey. New password. Now, passwords for Moodle are quite tricky to set because they have to have at least one digit, one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter, and a symbol. So I'm going to change my password to capital D David 
1.0. You can choose whatever password you like, but remember it's got to have a capital letter, a small letter, a number and a symbol. So, Sophie, would you put in David 1.0 for me in both boxes? Remember it's a capital D. And then a small a, VID, 1.0. And then click on the next box, new password again. If you've got it right, and we'll see if Sophie has here, click on save changes. It's doing it it's just a bit slow. Password has been set. And then that's it, you're done. You don't need to do anything else for now. Your tutor will tell you all the other things.